What's up, America? How are you guys doing? And welcome to another Backyard and Beyond. I am your host, Chef John, and I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. Guys, we have an exciting week. It's Chicken Week all week long at Rectech. Well, you know what that means. We're gonna be bringing y'all some of our favorite chicken recipes all week long. I'm super excited about it, super excited. And to get things started, because it's Monday, we're gonna be doing some chicken cordon bleu. That's right. And we're gonna do a little healthier version of chicken cordon bleu. Uh, traditionally, chicken cordon bleu is uh, chicken that's been fried uh, and then usually breaded and baked off as well. So we are gonna be doing a little healthier version of that. I'm not gonna be frying it, but I wanna give you guys some awesome facts about chicken cordon bleu. Yeah, buddy. That's right. So chicken cordon bleu, also known as snitch, schnitzel, Cordon Bleu, that's right. It consists of bread, fried meat wrapped around cheese, traditionally. Uh, Cordon Bleu translates to blue ribbon. That's literally what it means. Uh, it was named after a French knight who wore blue ribbons to showcase their prestige, right? Mm. And the order of the knights was uh, the Knights of the Holy Spirit, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and now the blue ribbon now uh, represents um, chefs' uh, very high standards and prestige. Is that why Pop's blue ribbon is so good? It, it's just a prestigious beer? Or? Uh, let's go with that. Yeah, okay. that's, why, right. it's that's so what I like to That's believe. why it's so good, of course, yes. But yes, but guys, like always, <laughs> I have my good friend JJ on the ones and twos. So put all your comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section, and he'll be reading those out. All right, let's get started. So. For this cordon bleu, it is very, very simple. There's a few ingredients that you need. So we have uh, some chicken breasts that haven't been cleaned yet. Uh, I've got some mozzarella cheese. I've got a little bit of ham. And we'll be seasoning our flour mixture with that Colton's freaking Greek. Often imitated, never duplicated. All right, also, we have some winners to announce. Who do who, y'all? I'm telling you right now, three winners to announce. Uh, those people will be winning an exclusive Rectech ice or tumbler of their color and size, and also an exclusive Backyard and Beyond t-shirt. Mm. That's right, that's right, it's a fine shirt. Fine it don't shirt. get much more better. It don't, it don't get much more better. All right, so, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our chicken breast, right? Now, and these are the typical size chicken breasts. Now, when doing cordon bleu, the thicker the breast, like the actual thickness size of the breast, the thicker the breast, the actual easier it's going to be to stuff it. So you want to get them thick breasts, right? <laughs> Full breast. But we've got just some regular oh size my. ones that you probably get at your supermarket. Because I wanted to show you all how to do it. It's totally possible to do it without having a super thick. So we're just going to trim off all the excess fat. Because nobody wants to eat that when you're eating cordon bleu. And blue. again, you're using chicken breasts? Chicken breasts. Right. It's the only way, Jordan, to do cordon bleu. You have to use chicken breasts. If you're not using chicken breasts, it's not cordon bleu. It's something else. All right, so we're going to take, trim off the fat on our breast. And I like to do it in stages. I like to do everything at first, get all the fat off, and then go ahead and slice into it. But guys, let me know where you guys are watching from. And what you guys are planning on eating today when you guys get home? I would love to know. We got folks all over, John, watching Backyard you know, and Beyond today. Jordan, I want to give a quick shout out to one of our good friends, Tom Quinn. Tom, we love you. We appreciate all the shout outs, all the questions. Thank you so much. He's awesome, Jordan. He's watching all the time. Well, all we certainly appreciate his patronage. We totally do. Totally do. All right, so now that we got all the fat off of these things, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little pocket for our cheese and our ham, all right? So I've already done one. You can see that's what the pocket's going to look like. Can you see that? So it's folded over. We just open it up, little pocket, all right? Put that to the side. Now, what you want to do is, starting on the inside of the chicken breast, we're just going to take our knife and we're just going to slowly slice right down the middle not slicing all the way through it and give us a little pocket perfect all right I'll show you guys again all right starting so this is the inside of the chicken breast we're going to start right up a little above halfway and we're just going to slice keeping our knife nice and flat we're going to slice right through that chicken breast making a delicious little pocket 
Jordan, we got any great questions out there? No, not yet, John. Everybody's just checking in from That's all over the about. U.S. We got our buddies it. in Illinois, New Mexico, yeah. North Carolina, South Carolina, Oklahoma, New Hampshire. I bet it's beautiful up there right now. Yeah, it is. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Well, I'm having a great day here on the Rec Tech deck. Doing a little cordon bleu for you guys. We're going ahead and slicing up this chicken breast right now. It's chicken week all week long here at Rec Tech. So we're going to be bringing you guys some of our favorite chicken dishes. All right. So now that we have it all cut up, what we're going to do is we're going to start to stuff it, right? So what I have here is a little bit of ham, a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Now this mozzarella cheese hasn't been sliced. So that way I could cut little tiny pieces out and not have to worry about those pre-cut slices, okay? All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our cheese. We're going to put a little bit of cheese down. We're going to take our ham. We're going to lay a little bit of ham on the inside. And that's thick cut stuff, it's too. It's some that's, thick cut stuff. And now we're just going to fold it over just like that. Super easy, right? Okay. Let's do another one for you guys. John, as you stuff that second chicken there, what kind of pellets are we burning today? Today, we are burning the Kingsford Hickory pellets. Mm. It's going to give this cordon bleu delicious color and a really, really nice flavor. You can't substitute anything. When it comes to fine fuel, you got to think of Kingsford. All right, so now we got our chicken, stuffing it. We have some mozzarella cheese. Now, if you don't like mozzarella, you could use whatever cheese you really like. Uh, I mean, if you're a provolone fan, you can totally stuff this with provolone. Mozzarella is just going to give us that nice ooey gooey that you've come to know and expect with Cordon Blues. <clears throat> if you didn't have mozzarella on hand, what would you personally use? Uh, probably Baby Swiss would okay. be uh, a, good, a fine substitute. All right. Richard wants to know. We do have a question. Yeah, Richard, Mr. what's up? Mr. Richard Robinson wants to know, is there any reason you don't season the inside? Uh, because you totally could treat yourself, you know, you totally could season this right now with Colden's, but I go ahead and season my flour when I go ahead and bread this. So I don't want to over season it. Remember when you're seasoning, you were trying to build layers of flavor. You don't want to over season in the beginning. And then when you get to the end, have too much seasoning in there. Well, you've also got off. that ham in there. That's, that's salty right. enough, that cheese as well. It so. totally is. But live your rectic lifestyle. That's right. That's right. Treat yourself. Live your best life. All right. We got one more to do. looking good take this last little bit of cheese we're gonna stuff it in here we're gonna take our ham we're gonna fold it over boom shaka laka that looks great right perfect all right we're halfway there all right so the next step our breading station now this is kind of important all right so you guys, when y'all are doing your breading stations, and it doesn't matter what you guys are frying, right? If you're gonna do a, a breading station, this is how you do it. Do it the exact same way every time. So what we have, we're gonna start with a little bit of egg wash. That was four eggs that I cracked and added probably about four ounces of water to, whisked it all together, right? And then we have some flour. And now the flour, I went ahead and seasoned with the Colton's Freaky Greek. Go ahead and add a little bit more. Put about two tablespoons in there. And that was about three cups of flour. Right? Perfect. And then last but definitely not least, we have our panko breadcrumbs. Mm, mm, mm. I love panko. Um, it's a Japanese-style breadcrumb. Uh, it's really a lot lighter than your traditional breadcrumbs, and it actually does a lot better with holding that crispy crunch in there. It doesn't get soggy as well. I'm pausing for the call as I sip on my delicious 420. And, John, as you mm. sip on that delicious brewski, we want to give a big congratulations to our viewer, Richard Laney, out there. Their son is graduating from Navy Boot Camp this Thursday. That's so awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations, Thank man. you for your service. We really appreciate it. Yeah, totally thank you for your service. We love it. We love it. All right. So I'm going to need some gloves. Go ahead and get our handy-dandy nitrile gloves on. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get our grill mat, non-stick grill mat, available at Rectech.com. It's probably my favorite accessory that we make at Rectech. It's, it's so convenient. Dishwasher safe. So convenient. Very reusable, uh, non-stick. Um, it it uh, handles really high temperatures really well. 
So it's really, it's great. If you haven't gotten one, definitely go pick one up. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our chicken. We're going to go in the flour. Now, this is every time you guys do a breading station, in the flour, right? We're going to dust off the excess flour into the egg wash, right? Get it all nice and wet, then straight into the pan cup. You put anything in your egg wash or just? It's just eggs and water, okay. just eggs and water. Now, we're just going to let this rest for a minute, right? And we're going to go back over here. We're going to do another piece. So straight into the flour, except knocking the excess off straight into the egg wash, let it drip, straight into the pan cup. Now by the time you get the second one done, the first one's ready to come out. We're gonna go ahead and stick it straight on our grill mat. God, Look how nice and covered so that is, Pan it looks great. Panko is such a great breadcrumb substitute. It really is. I love it on shrimp. Yeah, especially it's great. it's great on shrimp and it's and it's easy to find you guys could go pick it up at your local grocery store they should definitely definitely be careful if i'm panko. not mistaken john panko is not necessarily a it, it's it's a brand as well too isn't it, it is it is a brand as well that's right that is right all right so we're gonna leave that one in we're gonna go back now you may ask yourself chef john why are you leaving the chicken the cordon bleu in the panko and letting it rest in there and it's because if you really want that good batter and this is a little chef tip for me to you. Don't tell anybody. But if you really want that good batter, that crispy, thick batter, you really need to let the panko have time to absorb all the liquid that's on the chicken. So that's why we leave it in there until we do the next one. Okay, we go do ahead. got a good question from Steve. All right, Steve, go ahead. Hit me with it. Is the flour not getting washed off in the egg? No, that's a great question, Steve. Okay, so... When you're making a, a batter or when you're making an egg wash station like this, the flour really is what holds the egg wash on. If you were to go ahead and just take this piece of chicken and stick it straight into the egg wash and then the panko, it's not going to adhere. That egg is just going to slide off this really uh, shiny, silky piece of chicken skin. So we add a little bit of the flour, and that's what holds that egg wash on. That's a great question, though. Great question. All right, we got one more to do. Can you believe this show is free? <laughs> All this information. We're just dropping knowledge. Yeah, right? We are dropping knowledge today. All right, one more to do. Super easy. Into the flour. Dust off the excess. Into the egg wash. And then straight into the panko, where it gets a delicious panko bath. And it couldn't be any easier than that, guys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as my good friend, the barbecue dad says. All right, let me clean this up. Get all this. Well, what'd you get into here. this weekend, John? Did you do anything exciting? I had a nice chilled weekend. If any of you guys follow me on uh, Snapchat or Instagram, I was chilling by the fire, Jordan. I got my uh, fire pit roaring this weekend. It was beautiful. It was like 56 degrees in Augusta, so it was really Really nice. But what did you guys do this weekend? That's what I want to know. Is there something that I missed out on, Jordan? What did you do? Oh, boring stuff, man. I threw down some stakes this weekend on my 340. Okay. Did do that. Played some classic video games. It sounds like you're living your best life. Pretty Jordan. much, man. I like to relax on the weekend. <laughs> it's my me time. It is your you time. All right, let's go ahead and throw these on the RT700. I have it set at 375 degrees. And these are going to take about 45 minutes to cook. Ooh. You can see I've already got the other ones started for you guys, and they are looking G, B, D. So nice. Whoo, buddy, row. Man, yeah. we have got all kinds of exciting stuff that has been happening lately at Rec Tech. We Jordan. really do. I mean, for real. And if you guys want to keep up with all of that, you need to sign up for the newsletter. Chef John, how do I sign up for the newsletter? All you need to do is go to rectech.com, scroll to the bottom, put your email address in there, and you have signed yourself up to become an insider. It's really the only way that you guys can find out about new products coming out, awesome events, and you're really missing out if you have not done that. It's a already. great way to stay up to date. It man. really is a great way to stay up to date, Jordan Johnson. Um, what else do we got going on? So we've had so we've had a fun last week. It was killer. Had a great time. We got a lot of new content getting ready to come out to you guys very soon. Be on the lookout for that. Um, but also tomorrow, you guys are not going to want to miss out. Uh, Chef Greg, 12 o'clock 
on our Facebook page. We're going to be doing a lunch break. It's going to be great. He's going to be bringing you some kind of delicious chicken dish that you're not going to want to miss out on. And then on Wednesdays, you know what time it is. At 12 o'clock, we have that new show, Bar BQ. Don't miss out on that. If you slept on that last week, you missed out. The ladies made some meatball subs that were scrum diddly um, just Shout out to Shannon and my good friend Madeline. They, they did, did it a big, great, man. Great, great job. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, they did great. Olivia, uh, we had our dirty girl Amanda on there. It was, the, it was the full package. The ladies brought it. So if you definitely don't want to miss out, Wednesday, 12 o'clock, barbecue on Rec Tech Girls' Facebook page. And then Wednesday at 5, y'all know what time it is. It's after hours. Me, Chef Greg, and Jody. You know, we cracked open a couple. Everybody's starting to leave the building. They're closing it down, and we get to go rogue. So you're not going to want to miss out on that. That kicks off at 5 o'clock Eastern time. And then Thursday, Thursday's like the busiest day, Jordan, for me anyhow, because we kick it off on U RecTech's YouTube page at 12 o'clock. Jody's going to be bringing you all lunch break. He'll be doing something awesome, and it's going to be chicken-related. And then at 4 o'clock, we do Product Spotlight, and that's just a chance for us to talk more about products that you guys have asked more about. You want more in-depth uh, time spent on these products. So that's what we do for you guys. And then Thursday night at 11, your boy on Rec Tech Grill's Instagram page with late night munchies. Now, since I, you know, we're talking about late night munchies, we had a little technical difficulties last week, but Thursday, this Thursday, we will be announcing, what is it, two weeks ago, winner, and I have winners to announce from last week. So you're definitely going to want to tune in. It is going to be a great show. And if you guys aren't tuning into that, you're really missing out. It's a lot of fun. I usually do something sweet on the Rec Tech. It is delicious. And then on Fridays, it's Fun Day Friday. We're closing out the week. Me, Chef Greg, and Jody are doing it up big on Fridays. We're giving away prizes, spinning that wheel of Rec Tech. It is fun. John, if I may. Talk to me, Jordan. Now, we're talking about our schedule. We're talking about things coming up. Yes. Some of us, uh, some of our fans out there know that we do a Twitter post show after Funday Friday, Friday oh, each right. and every week. That's right. We but sure do. aren't we considering doing an actual cooking show right on Twitter each we, and every Tuesday? We really have been talking about it. It's been being kicked around how Twitter needs its own show. I so, think so, you know, I'd be on the lookout, guys. If you're not following Rec Tech Grills or Rec Tech's Twitter page, definitely go follow the Definitely do so. Because uh, we've got some live stuff coming at you. And speaking of live stuff, this Friday... Also, uh, gates open at 6.30 for that Friday movie here up at Rec Tech uh, on the Jumbotron. You guys definitely, definitely want to come. Check that out. If you have not come up here, $10 a car load. Uh, and we're playing all the scary movies. I think this week we're playing Hotel Transylvania. You're not going to want to miss that. Gates open at 6.30. Movie starts at 7.30. Yeah, Jordan, you got a question. All right, rapid fire. Are you ready? Hit me with it. All right, first question. What temp are we cooking at? 375 degrees. Oh, excellent answer. That's All right. right, and can you do this recipe on the bullseye? You could do any of our recipes. That's a great question. You could do any of our recipes on any of the grills that uh, you guys own from Rectech. The bullseye, the 340, the 590, the 700, the BFG. If you have one of those grills, you can cook any of these recipes on it. And third and final question. Hit me with it, Jordan. Dan Timblin wants to know, would you use flour as breading if you're not using panko? Okay, so I've done this a couple different ways. If you are going to fry um, your chicken cord on blue, I definitely use flour and no panko, okay? But since we're trying to do a little lighter, healthier version of it, I went light on the flour and a little bit heavier on the panko because it's going to help give it that same crunch without frying. That's a great question, Jordan. So great. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, cordon blues. <laughs> Ooh, they are looking delicious. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off because I think they're done. I can see that cheese starting to melt. Yes, that is a win, win, win. Well, John, as you pull those bad boys off, all I got to say is... Oh, is it that time already? It's Jordan? that time of day. That's what I'm talking about. You know what time it is, everybody. It's time for that Dirty Girl 420 moment. Brought to you by Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers. Often imitated, never duplicated, guys. If you guys are not using Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers for your Bloody Marys or margaritas or anything that takes sour mix, you guys are missing out. Totally. You can find it wherever cocktail mixers are sold. And if you can't find it, just go holler at somebody. Tell them that you want it. And they're denying you the goodness that you deserve. That's what I'm talking about. So, Guys, today I've got a delicious drink for you guys. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for a hashtag drink of fall, y'all. That's right. Let's <laughs> get it. All right. So what we do is we got to start off with our shaker. I'm going to go ahead and drain this water out. 
because it's a beautiful like 78 degrees here in Evans, Georgia, but still hot enough to melt ice. All right, so we've got our awesome copper mug. Go ahead and top it off a little bit more ice. Ice is key here. All right, now first we're gonna be using that salted caramel whiskey from Second City Distillery. This stuff is the bomb, guys. If you have not gone to Second City Distillery and checked their uh, website out, you guys are totally missing out. And also, if you guys go to carolinacityshipping.com, you can order this delicious product and uh, all their delicious products straight to mm. your house. That's right, you heard it here first. You don't have to not, not be able to enjoy this delicious drink because I'm making it with you guys. Y'all could order the stuff and we can make it together. And check this out. If you guys go and put in, when you go to do your order, put in she uh, code CHEFJOHN10, you get 10% off that order. Wowie, woo. Know, that's how we're doing it for you guys. It's a heck of a deal. I know. I'm not just a pretty face. I try to bring you guys the best. You know, All we right. got to go see those guys. I'm telling you. I said uh, this last week. We got to go see those guys. They are a fun, fun group. Maybe we'll do a show there pretty soon, Jordan. Okay. All right. All right. So we go one ounce of the salted caramel, right? Then a quick shout out to our good friends in Alabama, Murder Creek, bringing us that praline moonshine. I mean, often imitated, never duplicated. It adds tremendous flavor to this drink. Really, really awesome. Shout out to you, Murder Creek. So we're going to go with an ounce of the moonshine. So delicious. Now for the piece de resistance, we have that Dirty Girl Margarita Mix, a.k.a. Sour Mix. Guys, definitely, definitely, definitely check this product out. If you haven't used it, anything that takes sour mix, you could use this Dirty Girl Margarita Mix. No high fructose corn syrup, vegan, vegetarian friendly, and ready to go And gluten-free. Gluten-free. If you're terrified of gluten. That's right. So we're going to go with an ounce of the Dirty Girl. And then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of apple cider. Go with a little ounce of apple cider. Looks great. Now for my favorite part, the shake. You know, John, I got to say, one of my favorite parts about the 420 moment is seeing all of the comments of people who you wouldn't normally see posting the words, yeah, 420 in That's the comments. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, spread the love, guys. If y'all aren't taking a moment for 420 to, to indulge yourself in the deliciousness, then I don't know what you're doing with your life. All right, so last but not least, we're going to go ahead and take some delicious ginger beer. We're just going to top it off with a little ginger beer. Woo. Cheers, y'all. Hashtag drink of fall. Cheers, mm. buddy. This drink truly screams fall. John, mm. what are you tasting? It tastes delicious. You get a little bit from the whiskey. You get a little kick, but you get a little bit of sweetness in that caramel flavor. I hit, get a hit of the apple cider and mixes deliciously with that Dirty Girl uh, margarita mix. And then that praline comes through very strong Murder Creek. Shout out to you. It feels like I'm just walking through Vermont yeah. in the woods right yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? Or with like the, when, when your dad is raking leaves and asking you to help and mm. you're like, no, I don't want to. But then yeah. you jump in the leaves he raked. That's exactly what it's like. Yeah, it yeah. tastes like fall up in your mouth. Mm, it's so delicious. Guys, make this drink your official drink of fall. So delicious. Chef John approved. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get back to the Cordon Blues because they're the app, they're the real stars. All right, so what we're going to do at this point is, after y'all take a gander of those delicious Cordon Blues, we're going to announce some winners. Ooh. Yeah, it's that time of the day. <clears throat> you guys have waited long enough, right? Let's announce some winners. So what, what did we do? Last week, you guys had to comment in the comment section and share the video to enter to win one of three shirts and one of three Icer Rectech tumblers. So without any further ado, we got three winners. First winner is <laughs> boom. Andy Godwin, congratulations, Yay. Andy, congratulations. All right, second winner. I don't know what that is you're doing. Please stop. <laughs> Jason Millam. Jason. Yeah, buddy. And last but not least. Oh, boy. 
Rick Norris. Yeah, Congratulations. bud. Congratulations. If all three of you guys would reach out to us, hit us up on our DM us on our Facebook page. We will make sure that those prizes get out to you guys. Yeah, and a be sure zap. to let us know your size and what right. size tumbler and That's color right. you and like. color size yeah. size and color of tumbler that you guys want and we'll ship that stuff out to you guys directly thank you guys so much i feel like i want to do something else though jordan we need to do another giveaway hey let's do it i'm down are you down i'm so down bro are you down yeah okay uh let's what do you say we give away um what do you want to give away well it's up to you it's your show okay i said we give away what three more shirts and three more tumblers all right let's do it all right let's do it so to enter to win this contest, all I'm going to need you guys to do is share this video and hashtag BarBQ. BarBQ enters you guys to win one of three, one of three shirts and one of three Rectech Ice or Tumblers. So make sure you guys do that. A little plug and for the ladies. Yeah, and watch the ladies this Wednesday, 12 o'clock. Oh, a rub and sauce bundle? Is that what somebody said? I heard somebody say it. All right. Well, let's add three rub and sauce bundles into that, too. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! So, you're going to win. What you need to do is you need to share this video. You need a hashtag, bar BQ, in the section, and you enter to win. I'm going to give away three. Three Backyard and Beyond shirts, three Rectech ice or tumblers of your color and your size, and three rub and spice bundles that's Boy, right and guys. lighten them comments up right now them up? that's what i'm talking about and guys make sure that you watch barbecue wednesday at 12 o'clock it's our newest show we're really giving the girls all the support that's like in the world. three three-piece combos it really is like three three-piece combos that's how i do it on my show jordan yeah i love it i'm not playing around yeah that's what i'm talking about all right let me show you guys how easy this stuff comes off here so we're just going to slide these right onto our cutting board this grill mat is non-stick so the, the cordon blue comes off so easy We'll recap that dish for us. Time and temp, Chef. Okay, so time and temp. Uh, time was about 45 minutes to an hour. Temp was 375 degrees. What we did was we had just regular chicken breast you could find at your store. We sliced them in half. We stuffed them with ham and mozzarella cheese. Then we got our breading station out. Uh, we um, floured them, rolled it in um, egg wash, and then we put it in panko. We did all that, put it on our grill mat, and then placed it on the grill. And it was that easy, Jordan. And it's 165 internal? 165 internal, and you know that it is done. Well, let's see the final product, brother. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Ooh. You can see that cheese right there in the middle. That is what I'm talking about. A little bit of that ham. Psh, every day I'm hustling, Jordan. Every <laughs> day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Gross. Guys, Chilla. thank you guys so much much for tuning in and hanging out with me you know what it is it's backyard beyond we're doing it up i'm chef john if you guys have any questions for me anything you know just anything you want to get my opinion on feel free to reach out to me at chef john at rectech.com i love getting emails from you guys make sure that you're following rectech on all social media we're on everything facebook instagram TikTok, uh twitter like every platform that you guys are on we're on too make sure that you're following us and that's pretty much it. Jordan, did I forget anything? I don't think so, they man. There's comments or questions. A lot going on. No, they're commenting right now, trying to win those giveaways. They're excited about this dish. I guess the only thing left to do today, John, yeah. take a bite. You ready for me to take a bite? Do you want some, Jordan? Uh, I'm going to let you go. Oh, I want you to let these Jordan, folks I knew, know. I know Jordan he wasn't going to you know, take a bite. How did I chef. know he wasn't going to take a bite? It's not about me, John. Uh huh. You want a bite, Sharp? Here you go, Sherp. Hey, feed the Sherp. That's what I'm talking about. Get in there, Sherp. <laughs> Look That's at what that. I'm talking about, buddy. <laughs> hey. Cheers to you, Sherp. My man. All right. Mm. All right, John, what are we feeling? What Jordan, are we tasting? Crunchy, creamy, smoky, saltiness from the ham. Uh, does it take you back to your days in Switzerland? It's so good. You get the herbiness from the coldens. So, so good and so easy and a great variation on a you know otherwise unhealthy dish mm. Mm -mm. yeah i didn't think about that with the grilling and mm -hmm. the the breadcrumbs you're really cutting down on some carbs and some of that grease really that rt 700 did work it really did jordan with that pid controller ceramic igniter 40 pound hopper 11.99 ships anywhere inside the united states to your house ma'am this thing is a machine guys 
Is there anything you would uh, serve with this dish? Hmm. Let me finish chewing real quick because that yeah. is so good. I don't. Yeah. Even, I want my mouth. No, to wash like it down with some of that drink of flavor. fall, man. Get get you a sip. All right, traditionally, what I would do, I would serve this with a cream sauce, which would be super simple. A little garlic, a little white wine, heavy cream. Let it reduce. A little bit of the cold and freaking Greek. And then I'd pour that over the top of this, that cream sauce. That would be delicious. And then I'd probably serve it with maybe like a broccoli and rice casserole. I like, the, I like to keep the creaminess with the crunch. I think that's really, really delicious. But those would be my two add-ons to this dish if I was going to do something else. But guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. It's Backyard and Beyond. You know how we do it. Remember, take care of one another. Listen to one another. So important. And never forget, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you at the rec tech. Hey, do, do, thank do. you everybody for another great do, show. Do, do. Sandy Hernandez do, checking do, in. Michael do. Gibson, what's up, buddy? Tom Taylor, what up? Said it. Nicholas Come Maxwell, it. my man. When the sun starts going down. You guys take it, take it easy. The way you we'll like. see you tomorrow for lunch break. We're at